The liver, a large reddish-brown organ nestled in the right upper abdomen, is a silent workhorse. It performs over 500 vital functions, including filtering toxins from the blood and producing bile for digestion. One crucial role of the liver is maintaining the delicate balance between bleeding and clotting. Liver disease can disrupt this equilibrium, compromising the liver's ability to produce clotting factors. This impairment can lead to a higher risk of bleeding, even from minor injuries. Understanding the interplay between liver disease and bleeding disorders is crucial for effective diagnosis and treatment. By unraveling these complexities, we can improve the lives of those affected by these conditions. Imagine a complex dance involving proteins, enzymes, and cells working in unison. This intricate choreography is the coagulation cascade, a series of biochemical reactions that prevent excessive bleeding. Clotting factors, primarily synthesized by the liver, act like construction workers, assembling a fibrin clot to stop bleeding. Equally important is the regulation of clot formation to prevent dangerous blockages. Inhibitors like protein C, protein S, and antithrombin ensure clot formation is localized and controlled. The liver plays a critical role in producing these inhibitors. When liver function is compromised, the production of these inhibitors can decrease, tipping the balance towards a procoagulant state. This imbalance increases the risk of developing blood clots, complicating the health of individuals with liver disease. Understanding this balance is key to managing liver disease effectively. Diagnosing and managing bleeding disorders in patients with liver disease requires a multi-pronged approach. Laboratory tests provide crucial insights into the complex interplay of clotting factors and inhibitors. Two commonly used tests are the prothrombin time, PT, and activated partial thromboplastin time, APTT. These tests measure the time it takes for blood to clot under specific laboratory conditions. The PT test assesses the extrinsic pathway of the coagulation cascade, while the APTT test evaluates the intrinsic pathway. In liver disease, the ability of the liver to synthesize clotting factors is often impaired, leading to prolonged PT and APTT times. This indicates a slower clotting process and an increased risk of bleeding. The degree of prolongation can provide valuable information about the severity of liver dysfunction. Interpreting these tests requires careful consideration of the patient's clinical history and other laboratory parameters. When the balance breaks bleeding disorders in liver disease, liver disease can manifest in various ways, from mild inflammation to severe scarring known as cirrhosis, as liver function declines, the balance of the coagulation cascade can falter, increasing the risk of bleeding disorders. Thrombocytopenia, a condition characterized by a low platelet count, is a common bleeding complication in liver disease. Platelets play a crucial role in forming the initial plug that stops bleeding. Liver disease can lead to thrombocytopenia through decreased production of thrombopoietin and increased destruction of platelets in the spleen. Another concern is the impaired production of clotting factors, and particularly those dependent on vitamin K. Recognizing the signs and symptoms of bleeding disorders in patients with liver disease is crucial for timely intervention. Easy bruising, prolonged bleeding from minor cuts, and spontaneous bleeding are red flags that warrant immediate medical attention. Real-world implications case studies in patient care. Consider a patient with advanced cirrhosis presenting to the emergency room with hematemesis, vomiting blood. Their blood tests reveal prolonged PT and APTT times, indicating a severe deficiency of clotting factors. This deficiency, coupled with increased pressure in the portal vein, has led to bleeding from engorged veins in the esophagus. In another scenario, a patient with chronic hepatitis C develops jaundice and ascites. Their blood tests show a low platelet count, putting them at risk of bleeding. These cases highlight the real-world implications of bleeding disorders in liver disease. Understanding the underlying mechanisms and recognizing the clinical presentations are crucial for providing timely and appropriate care. Protecting the protector knowledge and management of liver disease. The liver, a resilient organ, can often compensate for damage in its early stages. However, as liver disease progresses, its ability to maintain the balance of coagulation falters, increasing the risk of bleeding disorders. Early diagnosis and treatment of liver disease are crucial to prevent complications. Lifestyle modifications, 
such as maintaining a healthy weight and avoiding alcohol, can significantly reduce the risk of liver disease. Regular monitoring of liver function tests is essential for assessing bleeding risk. By combining knowledge, vigilance, and timely intervention, we can protect the liver and ensure the well-being of those entrusted to our care.